leave this, but during the day, let me take your attempts are at 150 something, right? 151. The moment it gets to like evening or nighttime, it drops to like 120, 190. I'm not 190, 120 to like 90, right? I think what happens is my car starts to run lean. Which if you know anything about running lean, it overheats the engine. If it runs rich, it just pops everywhere, which is usually what happens in the morning. But it's literally at the switch. The moment the sun starts to go down, tuner for the car so it's all on auto tune so it does whatever the fuck it wants when it wants Since I lost my earbuds right here somewhere, I heard it hit the ground and disappear into a bit oblivion. I've checked. I've checked all over the fucking ground without looking like I'm searching for gold or some shit. But guess what? I lost the other one too, so it doesn't matter. I lost this one. I lost the other one. Who cares? Um, price analysis. If I order replacements, I end up spending about a hundred bucks, right? So, I figure I just get the new ones. Yes, ANC is better. I have dual drivers, which I don't listen to much music on these. I actually have separate headphones for that, but um, I will try that out. I don't, I listen to most of my music in the car. Um, or usually in my speakers, which I've practically sold all my speakers I got a nice set that I was hoping to set up which I never got to set up and uh, should be doing an unboxing but who cares right who gives a fuck oh, this is nice. you know the crazy thing is I use a bunch of technology but it's not for what most people. I pray it's like, oh la la, looky looky, looky looky, oh looky looky. I'm like, look man, I want to be able to hear my music. I want to be able to block out sounds. I want it to fit in my ears. And I want it to do exactly what I want. I want to connect to my computer and my phone without worrying about shit. I want to fucking have it last forever, which the extra battery life is nice eight hours versus the other one um my battery was kind of going out because i use them a lot actually i i watch a lot of podcasts and um vocals right um you know what i'm gonna start this video over i'm gonna do it just on the buds i might actually post it this time even though this is horrible lighting I have a mask on still, as if you watch any of my other videos, you know why. This might go up too, who knows? I might just post it impromptu, like, yeah, fuck it, we're doing this. Anyways, here are the Samsung uh, Galaxy Buds Pro 3, 3 Pro. I had the 2 Pro, which um, I've lost, as I've said already, all right? Obviously, I didn't restart the video. So, you know, this is for real. Here they are. I'll turn on some lights. Here they are. All right, boom, bam. 
We got one side here, we got the other side here. I will have to, these tips are way too big, I already know that. I always use the smallest tips. I've been a Samsung headphone user for quite some time and I've grown accustomed to their sizing. So, let me grab those because I only need to do this one time. I have an extra Type-C cable. Promo time. Project Labs Type-C cable. Type-C to Type-C. These are 60 watt. I believe these are 45. Anyways, if you want one of my cables, they're in white. They're they're real nice. Can't zoom in. This is the wrong phone for this. Anyways. But, uh, we're going to take the tips out. I'm doing this in my vehicle. Grab the smallest ones. Ooh. It's weird. I have big ears, but small air canals. It's weird. Well, let me just put one of these in to see. Yeah, definitely not happening. I always use the smallest tips, even though I have ginormous ears. It is funny. Sure why? Bam. Oh yeah. Much better. Now let me do something here. Because this is a redesign, right? have a little bit more of a hole um, now I will say because I've used the uh, what's it called I use the Pro 2's so those kind of like fit in your ear pause alright so what I'm going to do because these actually come with a test mode which you can actually use to test the fit. Um, I guess it uses some type of acoustic to see if there's any sound escaping, um, but after putting them on, they actually feel really nice. And uh, compared to talking out loud and actually having them in your ear, um, the adaptive or, I think the adaptive feature or ambient sound has already come on and it sounds almost the same as I, as if I don't even have them on. Um, which is actually pretty cool. You put them on, you, you hear a little bit of dead space for a second, and then um, you hear yourself. And uh, compared to the twos, there's not that hissing noise. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit of that hissing noise and it was kind of annoying. Now, in terms of just overall test fit, pulling them out of my ear because I am scared of these dropping. The other one's not too much, right? Um, these are a little bit loose with the small ones. So I might actually try the medium and see what's going on um, because it, the whole thing has been redesigned. So these are a little harder to pull out than these. Maybe it's how I'm doing it, I don't know. I'll have to do a little bit more of a test on that. Um, I might have already lost some of these in the car somewhere. one off. I have no clue where it went. I have one small one here. But either way, let's keep going. Somewhere around here. Same place I lost my bugs around. Um, case looks pretty decent. Where am I? This is my other case. Alright, so this is what we were looking at before, right? This is what we're looking at now. Now, I will say, size-wise, it is just a little bit bigger. It's not, like, that much bigger. It is, you know, more, I guess, elongated, right? So, a little higher, a little wider. But that's where you get your extra battery life. Um, 
charging cable on the back and then wireless on the bottom All right this wireless charging on the back charger on the bottom pair button which this one I believe doesn't have a pair button so you have to just like open it put the earbuds in fiddle around a little bit this one actually has a dedicated pair button which is pretty nice this is a magnetic covering with the magnetic earbuds that snap in to place they only go in a certain way losing them already boom they're in there which is not bad uh, we've got an amber light here which means it's less than 30 percent i believe and then 30 to 60 is orange 60 to 100 is green um, nice light feature which is pretty cool can't customize them unfortunately but uh, I think you can make them either flash, strobe, or stay steady, um, which is, you know, it is what it is. I don't really care about all of that, but, whoa, they are a little slippery. I don't know. It's the newness, you know? They're so new, they're slippery. I might actually try these uh, medium see how it works in the test mode and actually see which one's better and I'll probably record that too and let you guys know but overall um, what kind of drew me to this is uh, I've been listening to a lot of like you know meditation music and things like that and um, I wanted the wide range and the dual drivers really stuck out to me uh, in terms of sound quality I haven't tested that out yet but I will and um, I don't know this is just unboxing. This is what comes in the case. You have the Type C cable, and you have your little ear tips with the main piece here. I'm going to plug it into my Roger Labs. Bing bang. USB Type C cable here. It's not going to focus. There's a giant dark dude in the background. Can't focus. But uh, looks good so far. It actually feels not too bad. I do like the mat though. The mat was really nice and it's just, it's like a little pebble, you know. Um, I did honestly like the fact that this was a lot smaller and it goes right in your ear. I don't, you know, I'm not crazy about the stem. I don't give a damn, right? I just don't care. I just want them to work. The stem is okay. My issue is it falling out. Now, I will say, these do fall out if I'm, like, exercising and, you know, but very rarely. I've never really had that issue. Um, like I said, once I once you get the right fit, they actually fit in very well. Um, and I have really big air, so I guess they hold them in really well, too. There's so much air um, that they don't fall out. Now, this, I'm not really too sure how I feel. I do like the dual controls. This had singular. Um, I believe it was play, pause, all on one side. And if you had one in, then the controls were all whacked out. Uh, what else? I don't know. I'm going to post this up. I'll show you my review of how I actually feel about this and the sound quality. Um, I was looking at the Bose Quiet uh, Comfort Ultra in terms of bass, right? But like I said, I'm not really... I listen to music. But I'm mostly in my car. If I'm not in my car, I'm usually at home. If I'm usually at home, I have speakers. You know, and I have over-ear headphones that I use for music. So it's, you know, I, you know, I don't know. I'll try it out though and see. I, I you know, I was crazy about bass long time ago I'd listen to drum and bass and all this other stuff so the bass is very important but I do like um, as I've grown up a little bit I've gotten out of the childish uh, you know super bass kind of deal and just want like actual clear audio and actual like quality quality listening experience right then once you start listening to a lot of like uh, talk shows podcasts you know normal videos and things like that um, I guess that changes, you know, I still listen to music, but 
you know, I, I've learned to not have all the bass in the world. I did have a pair of Bose headphones a long time ago. They were some of the best, best um, headphones I've ever used in my life in terms of sound quality. Um, I've always seen myself going back to Bose, but I need to find the right reason, right? Um, from all of the things I've read on these, in terms of being in the car, which I'm in the car a lot now recently, um, it's more important for me to cancel out noise, to have ambient sound, to uh, the dual driver setup was really important for me. And I'm trying out this, uh, I think it's 96 kilohertz kind of deal, if, if you know, you know. Um, we'll try it out. We'll see how what happens. All right. Hope you guys, uh, let's see. Probably scratched already. I won't return it anyways, but you know, I just throw these around. I, I throw them in the car. I don't care about that. Look at these. Like, as long as they work, as long as they're not damaged, which they won't, right? Uh, these, you can freaking, you can't swim with them, but they can be doused in water. Uh, so if we ever get to a, into a hurricane, uh, it's either they, they get flooded or they get lost. Um, hopefully they don't get lost, which would be a tragedy, right? But, uh, yeah, I'm going to upload this, and, you know, if you guys are interested in these, I will make a follow-up video in terms of just sound quality and what I think. All right, but overall, this is what you got. You got your buds here. Snap in real nice. What's this? Let's, let's turn it around so I know what I'm doing. Boom. Oh boy. I will say they are super slippery. They are super slippery. This is like way, I don't know. It's harder to handle than the other ones. The other ones, they're so small that you, you can just grab them and, you know, they go where you want. This, it's like you, you're almost grabbing the stem every time instead of the whole thing. I mean, you do have to grab the stem just to pull it out, but they're like super slippery. It might be my hands. I don't know. Um, I'll let you know in the next video. I'm just fumbling everything. I, I don't know. And then, you know what? You know what? To get it into this little hole here, because it can't go any other way, you know, it, you can't just drop them in there. You have to kind of like, you know, have some patience in life and be like, oh, let me grab my belts and let me put them back in real careful like. And I have really steady hands. So if you don't, ah, uh, gosh, you know, it's, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's up to you.